Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This video is all about the tracking of the Vive Cosmos. The Vive Cosmos is out now for more than a month and in the beginning the tracking was really bad. Now an update has come out and this is version 1.071 beta of the update and well this is actually part of my long 30 minutes review but I figured that lots of you probably only want to know about the tracking. That's why I made this video to just show you the tracking and compare it with the tracking of the Rift S and the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So this comparison is part of the big 30 minutes MRTV review that you can watch here. And if you have the time, do so. But now let's have a look at the comparison. And let's start here with the Rift S. First of all, we do have finger tracking, not as good as with the Valve Index, but it's there. Now what you can see here, I can come really close to the headset with my controllers and that's normally a problem of the inside out tracked headsets and controllers. I can even touch the headset and the controllers are still perfectly being tracked. This is quite a feat and that is not normal. That is not easy and well, you'll see the difference with the Cosmos later. Here now, what I'm doing right here now is I am aiming down the sides or I'm actually like mimicking this kind of gesture. And this is also not an easy task for inside out tracked headsets and controllers because one of the controllers would normally be occluded. And as you can tell here, no problem at all for the Rift S. And also this action of using a bow and arrow, it also will work fine with the Rift S. Also here again, one of the controllers being occluded, I can still move both of them and both of them are nicely tracked. So this is the best inside out tracking that I've personally seen and you can find it with the Rift S and the Oculus Quest. Now, what we have here now, this is the controller tracking of the HP Reverb. So the Windows Mixed Reality controller tracking, it only has two cameras and really compare that with the six of the Cosmos later. And I can come very closely to the headset with the controllers and the controllers are still being tracked and it does work fine. What we don't have here with the Windows Mixed Reality controllers is the hand tracking. Now for the gesture of aiming down the side in a first person shooter, as you can tell also for the Windows Mixed Reality controller tracking, it works fine, absolutely no problem. And I can play first person shooters with all of the Windows Mixed Reality headsets and this is the HP Reverb, but it would just work as nice with the Lenovo Explorer that you can pick up for around 200 US dollars. So really good tracking with only two cameras and also here with occluded controllers, no problem at all. It really does work fine. And now we finally get to the Vive Cosmos. So coming closer to the headset, I can tell already, I cannot come as close to the headset as with the Rift S or the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. When I get too close, well, then controller tracking will stop and you can see that the hands, they start to float around in a strange way and well, I simply cannot get as close to the headset as I can with the other headsets. But now let's have a look at controller occlusion, like when we are in a first person shooter. And as you can tell directly here, the left hand, it con completely stops to get tracked. And this didn't happen with any of the other headsets. So it's impossible to aim down the sides with the Vive Cosmos if you are in a first person shooter. And I'm trying this also out with the other hand and the same thing is happening again. So it completely fails when trying to track the other included controller and all the other headsets can do it. Even the Windows Mixed Reality controllers that only have two cameras and this one has six. So it's really strange to, to see that. Also other kinds of occlusion here, trying this kind of things, it doesn't work. Have a look at how the controllers or the hands will float. It's, it's just a complete failure and HTC has completely dropped the ball when it comes to controller tracking. 
oh my goodness. As you could tell, tracking off the Vive Cosmos controllers is dismal. I can very clearly say this is the worst tracking of any VR headset that I've ever tested. And as you know, well, I tested them all actually. So this is really so bad and I don't even know what to say. I can just say HTC, if I was you, I would put all, all of my resources into fixing your tracking and you already had more than a month to work on it and you've been working on it before but this truly feels like you just started to to work on insider tracking and that's your first shot at it and well unfortunately it's a big fail if you compare it to the tracking of the oculus rift s and quest and also to the tracking of the windows mixed reality headsets which only have two cameras so that is truly truly a tough call i have no idea why this tracking is so bad is it the kind of cameras that is being used is it the inexperience of htc engineers to work on inside out tracking i don't know i just know that this is the worst tracking that i've ever seen in a six degrees of freedom headset and well that is really unfortunate however dear htc if you come up with better software, with an upgraded firmware, again, I will absolutely test it for reasons of fairness and I'm going to compare them again and I'm going to show the results again here on the channel. So definitely let me know once you get new firmware. And that's it for this short review of the tracking. Again, if you want to watch the whole 30 minutes Vive Cosmos review because not everything is bad about this headset, please do so. The link is here again and yeah, it's a very interesting review. I hope that you enjoyed this short video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And before we stop with this video, I would like to thank you to all the supporters of the channel who make this kind of independent reporting a possibility. Thank you so much to all the patrons of MRTVs. And if you want to have this kind of, yeah, this kind of videos in the future, unbiased and honest reviews, then why don't you support this channel with only $3 a month? Simply go to mrtvelite.com and become a member of the MRTV Elite and get more behind the scenes video and become part of this channel. Also, thank you so much to the three MRTV champions. That's Modicap doing these amazing sound kits for Quest and Rift S. That is Humanize doing this amazing, also amazing by the way, 3D VR 180 cameras, the Views XR, and of course, VR Cover, working on the best hygiene solutions for virtual reality. Yeah, that's everything that I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the future. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.